Hello everybody, and you already know what this is, because you saw the title and you see my previous videos. You know, we are going to unbox some more Sonic toys. Sonic Prime toys, to be exact. We have more mystery figures. These are a different set. This is 8 to collect action figures, and this is made by... I'm not sure what company this is. PMI Kids World, so it's not Jap Pacific. It is another mystery figures, and everyone loved the Prism shard ones like mystery figures i did so let's see how these compare i got four of them for today i'm not sure where they're selling these at i actually got these in a weird different type of store uh fye at a mall just because i was in the area so let's see what we got i hope we don't get duplicates or sh we have 50 percent chance of getting four maybe i don't know four out of eight you tell me so let's see there is like the sticker's blocking it, but there's eight to collect. We got Ruse, Sonic. Let me get this sticker off so I can see it better. Okay, I guess I can't. So we got a Rouge. Rouge. Got a Sonic. We got nine. You got the Mr. Eggman, who's the only one they ever seem to have figures of because the other ones suck. Thorn Rose. We got Woods Knuckles. What is that? So it's the the hippie Eggman, whatever his name is, which is a rare, I think, and a uh, woodsy Sonic. Like I said, I always forget the names of the places. It's not that important. But keep in mind, we'll have more Sonic stuff, Prime stuff coming up because I do have extra stuff that's more more interesting. And yeah, here we go. Here is the Mister Doctor Eggman figurine. He's got a little stand, and he is posable, which I did not expect. Which is kind of weird. Don't expect these figurines to be posable, but it's only figures, so... The painting is not it's not bad mold, but the painting on his shoes look pretty bad. In fact, it looks like that. And it is odd just to even have it, like, on a stand, like it's an army. Like, army men from Toy Story. The way it is. Well, let's see, his, uh... Arms move, or shoulders move, I should say. His hands don't. Not a bad pose. And oh, his head can't even turn. I guess so does mustache, but I'm not sure if that's intentional. Probably not. It's ha his head barely moves. It's not a bad figurine. I mean, I have the uh, the official figure. So yeah, we got one, and this looks like comes with action figures so we have a little checklist so now we can see them better new york city we got nine the rouge the mr eggman and sonic and from boss cage maze we got gnarly knuckles i believe his name and thorn rose and the rare is i would guess the gnarly sonic and hippie eggman let's see what else we get all right here we go. We got nine. He may be, he looks like he might be a play a big role in the next season. Okay, let's see if there's anything else to him. No, just another one of those. So yeah, this is very interesting because I only have one other thing of him, which is the actual figure. And as you can see, his ta his uh, tails look like crap. Is one little one thing, which looks like shit. Sorry, but it does, so they use one blank gray paint job, and he's got a gun. Tails has got a gun. And his arms don't, well, this one does. Well, maybe it does this one? It does, very stiff, but kind of awkward, too. And his head can spin in circles. And his body can move. It looks better than the Eggman one, because at least it's not like a giant uh, crease in his uh, body. It's okay, but compared to the actual official figure, it's, like, not really worth it. Cause the paint in the sculpt, especially for the tails, looks like shit. A standability, they're on a stand, so the standability is a 10, by the way, for all these. If you don't know what standability is, in my videos, I rank them, if, how well they stand. Because if you're like me, you like to have them on display. And if they can't stand, it's kind of annoying. So here is a figurine I already have for, a. Uh, Sonic Prime. Once I unbox some other figures I have for Sonic Prime, I'm probably going to do a little Sonic Prime 
fit a collection because I'm actually getting I'm finding out quite a lot of these stuff. And you guys seem to like Sonic Prime, so I'm glad we're getting a different figures here. Uh, interesting, he's got yellow gloves. Why don't you get gloves that just say I am gay written on them? Uh, Sonic shorts, remember that? This is one of those paint things. Like, it seems like they only have three paints. Like red is the base, you can paint tan, yellow, and green, and the rest just looks like like crap. Like the fact they even sculpted out where, like a vest would be, and but it's not there. And this is also like a the other two figures you can get a, uh, a big fig of. This one, in the future video, you can also get a big fig of. And you can see this has a lot less detail. Uh, the uh, big Sonic figures for uh, Sonic Prime are going to come out soon. But, yeah, not the best looking in the world. It, it works on the distance, but, yeah. The thing about Sonic Prime is these characters are more detailed than they are in the uh, regular Sonic characters usually are. They give a lot more little extra stuff here, so it just doesn't look as good, especially when there's obvious molding or it probably should be different paint. Yeah. Let's see what moves. So his up and down like the every other character so he can like headbang. And he can move his arm a little bit. This one does not cut his uh, dread blocks in the way. And his head can't really move either he can just kind of shake his head oh no so there is gnarly knuckles last one let's get let's see let's hope we get rouge because she's probably the most unique one to be honest with the rare ones and oh, we got one of the rare ones and like i call this hippie eggman he's not a character people like uh no one likes the other eggmans other than the regular one well, I, said, I think they're okay I know a lot of people hate them. But yeah, I can see those are rare. This one is definitely better molded. So he's in this battle armor. He's got a katana. It's really bendy. Probably not fishing at taking out hedgehogs. He's got grips here for his thing. His arm is really cheap feeling, but he has articulation in his thing. He can bend up and down. He's got an extra sword in the back. This plastic feels pretty cheap, but the sculpt, it looks better than the other ones, if that makes any sense. Maybe because the colors are just better, but overall, it is a very unique figure. If I actually saw this, I wouldn't even know it was a Sonic thing. <laughs> you know, that's the way it looks. But yeah, we got four figures. If I see these again, I might do more, because like I said, we have eight to collect, and we got four. Yeah, we got four of the eight, which is nice. We didn't get any duplicates. But we didn't get Thorn Rose, the uh, New, York, New York City uh, Rouge, New York City Sonic, and the uh, Boss Cage Maze Sonic. But I guess Sonic's okay. I don't didn't get him because there's I have so many Sonics, even though it's mostly those. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what these are, but based on the store I got them in, they are only five bucks. So I actually would have picked up more, but they're the only four that I found. Thank you for watching, and these guys are definitely going to go on display.